Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. On a recent trip up to Northern California, I was able to test out some of the public charging infrastructure that's being implemented right now. And one of the sites that I was able to check out was Recargo's new location at Prunedale, just north of Salinas. Now, they had a soft opening, so this site isn't officially open yet. But I have some exciting news about what's in store for us when it is officially open to the public. So stick around. Now I had received a bit of a heads up that Recargo is having their soft opening of their new charger site. So thank you, Jeff, for that. Now it was open on the 20th and the 21st of October, so just a small window for a soft opening. They only had three of their six chargers open, but their representative, Carl, who was on site, was very, very helpful, gave me some tips and pointers, and I was able to use the site on my return trip. Now, I visited this site before, but it was at nighttime, it wasn't well lit, it wasn't officially open, so I wasn't able to use the chargers. There were a lot of questions that we had about exactly what was going on with Recargo, which is PlugShare's parent company, uh, exactly what they were implementing, what some of the specs were, and what their plans were. Now, this site might end up being more robust than some of the other Recargo sites that are currently being funded under a California Energy Commission grant. Now, the CEC grant is covering the 101 corridor using Recargo's network, and they're planning to put in eight sites starting south of Gilroy and ending just north of Santa Barbara. But this site in Prunedale might be a little bit more robust than some of the other sites we see because they did receive additional funding from Monterey Bay Air Resource Board. And that's part of the reason they were able to build a six charger site with large battery backups. Hopefully they're able to do the same for most of their implementations. And maybe it's just a matter of scale, four chargers instead of six, but we'll see. The good news is, though, they did pair with BTC Power to provide these charging units. They're currently set to providing 200 kilowatts. Now, that's through the CCS feed. They also provide 100 kilowatts through the Chatamo feed. So each charger has a dual head. I didn't get the exact specifications on the battery backup system that they have tied to the grid, but the chargers themselves are each capable of up to 200 kilowatts and they are scalable up to 400 kilowatts. So right now it's not going to be a big deal. None of the vehicles are really going to charge it faster than 200 kilowatts, but it is nice to actually have that capability for the future. The units themselves have really wonderful full screen displays. Now these are not touch screen, they're just there for displaying information. You actually use the hard buttons to toggle between the charge detail screen, uh, starting the charge, ending the charge. You can pay through the plug share app or you can simply insert your credit card. Right now they're charging 24 cents a minute to charge. It doesn't look like they have any additional parking fees that queue up afterward. I don't know that that's going to be the fee that they stick with long term, but at least for the soft opening, it was set at 24 cents per minute. Now, these cords are pretty heavy. They're liquid cooled, and this is something that's specific to early model Bolt EVs. I couldn't get it activated right away, so Carl came over and helped me. I actually had to hold the charger handle up because my Bolt EV needed to make sure that the actuator was locked in place. Now this isn't something specific to these chargers, it's something early model Bolt EVs suffered from and I've read reports and I've experienced it myself where my Bolt EV will not activate on certain CCS chargers if the locking mechanism isn't functioning exactly right. So an i3 can pull in before me, charge, 
I can plug in, I can't charge, a Spark EV will pull in after me and be able to charge just fine. So sometimes that actuator can be a little bit finicky, but it's nice to know that it just holding the handle, you'll be able to activate it just fine. The site itself though, was really wonderful, well laid out. It's a little bit away from the buildings, a little bit away from the business, but I actually prefer that because you don't wanna to have to be competing with people for charging spaces. Now, when the site is up and running, the lights above it will be on at nighttime. And from what Carl tells me, it is very well lit. So overall, I'm really happy about this site. I was able to charge the Average charge rate is shown on the screen. It shows step downs, how much power you actually used. And so it's really a great graph. If you want to diagnose a new EV or test it out there, that would be kind of the site to do it because it has this huge full screen displaying all of the information, all of the step downs, the charging rates throughout. It's a really great site and I don't know when it's going to go live exactly, but it should be in a few weeks. I was there for the October 21st soft opening, but we do know that it will be opening to the public soon. Hopefully they have a, a sort of opening ceremony where people can swing by and uh, representatives from a cargo will be there to help people out and show them how the new charging station works. I'm really excited about this one and I'm really excited to find out that they have seven more planned for the 101 corridor. This is going to be a really great implementation for those of us who use that corridor to travel north and south in California. If you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully I have the answers or I can direct you to someone who does or the references where you might be able to find them. Let me know what you think about the Recargo site. Are you as excited as I am that you can use PlugShare both to plan your route and to pay for your charge? I know it's going to be great. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And uh, thank you for watching.